Factor and graph p of x equals x to the power of 5 minus 3x to the power of 4 minus 5x to the power of 3 plus 27x squared minus 32x plus 12. In part a, factor algebraically using the integral zero theorem. Use the integral zero theorem to determine potential zeros of the polynomial. The potential zeros of the polynomial are the factors of the constant term. The integral factors of 12 are plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, plus minus 4, plus minus 6, and plus minus 12. Next, determine which potential zeros are actual zeros of the polynomial. The calculations for this step are shown. The polynomial has zeros of negative 3, 1, and 2. Now use synthetic division to factor the polynomial. The zero of negative 3 corresponds to a factor of x plus 3. The zero of 1 corresponds to a factor of x minus 1. The zero of 2 corresponds to a factor of x minus 2. We can proceed using any of the three factors. We'll begin by dividing the polynomial by x minus 1. Prepare the synthetic division. Complete the synthetic division. The quotient is x to the power of 4 minus 2x cubed minus 7x squared plus 20x minus 12. The divisor is x minus 1 and the remainder is 0. Using p of x equals q of x times d of x plus r, we can write the polynomial in the factored form p of x equals x to the power of 4 minus 2x cubed minus 7x squared plus 20x minus 12 times x minus 1. We have now reduced the quintic polynomial to the product of a quartic and linear factor. A second round of synthetic division is required to factor the quartic polynomial. We already used the factor x minus 1, so we'll divide by one of the other two factors. Divide the quartic polynomial by x minus 2. Set up the synthetic division. Complete the synthetic division. The quotient is x cubed minus 7x plus 6. The divisor is x minus 2, and the remainder is 0. Using p of x equals q of x times d of x plus r, we can write the polynomial in the factored form p of x equals x cubed minus 7x plus 6 times x minus 2. We have now reduced the quartic polynomial to the product of a cubic and linear factor. We need to apply synthetic division a third time to factor x cubed minus 7x plus 6. We have already divided by x minus 1 and x minus 2, so this time we'll divide x cubed minus 7x plus 6 by x plus 3. Set up the synthetic division. Complete the synthetic division. The quotient is x squared minus 3x plus 2, the divisor is x plus 3, and the remainder is 0. Using p of x equals q of x times d of x plus r, we can write the polynomial in the factored form p of x equals x squared minus 3x plus 2 times x plus 3.
we have reduced the cubic polynomial to the product of a quadratic and linear factor. We have used all three factors in the three rounds of synthetic division. Notice that all three factors are present in the factored polynomial. We can factor the quadratic using basic trinomial factoring. Finally, collect identical factors and express them as a power. In part b, use technology to graph the polynomial. Can the polynomial be factored using just the graph? Use your graphing calculator to obtain the graph. From the graph, we can see that the polynomial has zeros of negative 3, 1, and 2. The x-intercept of negative 3 has a multiplicity of 1, corresponding to the factor x plus 3. The x-intercept of 1 has a multiplicity of 2, corresponding to the factors x minus 1 and x minus 1, or x minus 1 squared. The x-intercept of 2 has a multiplicity of 2, corresponding to the factors x minus 2 and x minus 2, or x minus 2 squared. The factored polynomial is p of x equals x plus 3 times x minus 1 squared times x minus 2 squared. Note that we can only factor this way when the leading coefficient of the polynomial is 1. In part c, can p of x be factored any other way? No, this polynomial can't be factored by grouping, and there are no other algebraic techniques that will factor this.